Hi, sir. How are you? I'm good. So, what about you? I'm doing well, sir. And thanks for this opportunity to having me for this interview. Okay. So, uh, tell me something about yourself. So, as you know, my name is Shreyas. Okay. I'm an IT engineer. Hmm. I come from Latour. Okay. Uh, currently, I'm working with a Singaporean client in huh. education domain. Okay. For them, I've been working since last three months. About me, my forte is continuous learning. Okay. And I strive to learn every single day. Okay. So, this is all about me. If you want anything else, uh, let me, uh, please yes. ask me. What is the view in Power BI? So, there are some types of views in Power BI. Hmm. First one is the one that we see on the, on the visual side, which is a data view. Okay. Uh, sorry, data view is the one where we get all the data. Okay. Another one is a model view. Okay. And last one is uh, power view. Power view. Okay. What do you be use power query? Sir, Power Query is uh, basically kind of an ETL tool, not an ETL tool, where we get raw data okay. and we transform it, clean it using Power Query itself. Okay. Uh, that is the main purpose of Power Query, which is also a component of Power BI. Okay. Any function can you tell the in whatever you have used in your project? Any? Sir, uh, Power Query definitely I have used for many d different transformations. Okay. Uh, we start with uh, while cleaning the data uh, to keep columns, rows, hmm. to create some custom columns, uh, sometimes uh, doing some date transformations, apart from that uh, using column from examples, merging uh, different tables, uh, appending it. Uh, so there are many different instances for which I have used Power Query. Okay. Type of joins in Power BI? Type of joins in Power BI are left join, right join, left anti join, right anti join, full join, and inner join. Okay. What is the inner join? Inner join is a join uh, where it takes uh, similar data from two tables. Okay. What is the difference between <laughs> append and append and merge in Power Query? Uh, it has a very similar difference, though both are used for combining tables but uh, for different purposes why we use append is when we want uh, rows of different table to be added below the rows of first table we use append and merge is only used for combining two different tables uh, for merge we just need to have one single column common in both these tables and for append we need to have similar uh, table structure as well as column names okay can we perform merge in a three tables yes we can perform merge in uh, three tables just we need to have a single column common between all of these three tables okay difference we, uh, between power query and pa uh, power pivot uh, power query is uh, when you take raw data uh, you want to do transformations on it you mm. use power query Power pivot is uh, something where you uh, do all the tasks with data modeling, where we need to create tables uh, okay. with each other in the right manner. Yeah. Right. Modes in Power BI desktop limitation and advantage of the these modes above each other. Sure. Uh, there are three types of mode that I'm acquainted with. First one is import mode, second one is direct query mode and third one is a live connection mode though I haven't used it but I know about it. Okay. We start with import mode. Import mode is where uh, we bring the, the data in Power BI itself. We do all the transformations by having the data from source in Power BI. Okay. But with direct query what happens is data remains at uh, its source itself and similar with live connection as well. With Power, uh, with import mode data is refreshed uh, with a scheduled manner we need to schedule it but with live connection and direct query what happens is it is in real time uh, we use import mode when we have a uh, small to medium size of uh, data sets okay uh, but with a direct query you can have a huge amount of data and similar with uh, our live connection as well and what happens here is with import mode you have uh, all the freedom with data modeling Okay. Uh, with direct query it is limited and with live connection you cannot model the data at all and among all of these uh, import mode has uh, best performance okay. uh, with uh, 
direct query mode it limit it is limited uh, depends on the source that you are using okay and live connection is fast as well but the import is the faster one okay what is and how do you create calculate column and measure in power bi desktop see calculate basically used for filtering purpose okay it gives a filter to the data that you want okay for example if i have total sales hmm. i'll use calculate and inside it either i can use direct measure total sales or sum of revenue okay but now i want a filter context where i want to see sales only for some reason for an instance for a country india hmm. what i'll use is calculate total sales or sum of revenue comma country is equals to india so okay. what it it does is it just gives a filter context to the expression that you have entered in like uh, in the calculated itself <coughs> okay what is the major difference between major and cal uh, column <coughs> major and calculated column right no only column column yeah uh, so column is something that we have created it <coughs> okay uh, by help of some dexes hmm. major is similar as well but columns stays in the table it becomes part of your data it okay. takes data but with major <coughs> that doesn't happen it's on the fly uh, it doesn't take any space in your data model uh, with third axis it is evaluated at the query time measures but uh, with column what happens is it is evaluated when the data is loaded okay. so this is the major difference between column and a measure <coughs> which one uh, more effective column or measure uh, it depends on the context we use columns when uh, in the filter or slices okay but measures are usually uh, used in kpis or visuals directly okay which one take uh, a space column or major column takes space okay how will you show progress over time uh, if i want to show progress over time in power bi the visual that i'll use is a line graph okay basically on the x axis you use time hmm. and another on the y axis you use values okay so that directly tells you how the trend has progressed over the period of time whether it has taken off or whether it has dipped so okay. it depends on the context but you use mostly line graph to show trends in bar bi okay what is the uh, kpi visual sir kpi basically with a full form it stands as key performance indicator hmm uh, basically we use kpi when we want to show some kind of uh, profit or loss or uh, some progress i would say okay you you need to use some targeted value in it you need to use your mean measure in it and depending upon that in the background it will either show red lines or arrows or green lines or arrows depending upon whether the data is in positive side or negative side when color come red if it is a loss or okay. the data has gone to negative side with if it has not achieved the targets okay it will show red side okay type of relationship in power bi uh, there are four types of relationships in power bi uh, one to one one to many many to many and many to one ideally one to many is mostly used okay many to many many to many means uh, for an example uh, there are students and uh, different online platforms okay. one student can enroll to many different platforms and one platform can have many different students this is just an example of many to many relationship but okay. uh, it it will most of the times give you problems when it's time for filtering you know okay so that's why it is not preferred but okay. if we need to use it by any ways uh, we can use it uh, but by having a bridge table okay that's how it works difference between snowflake and star scheme uh before telling about star schema and snowflake schema i would like to mention there are two types of table fact table and dimension table okay fact table is a one that involves qualitative values okay and the dimension table involves quantitative values hmm. for example sales value sales table hmm. sales table will be my fact table hmm. and it will have all the ids uh, item id product id something like these and description of product will be given in the dimension table okay so if you have one fact table centralized and 
associated with are their uh, dimension tables hmm. it will be your star schema hmm. but if your dimension table have more dimension table it will be called as snowflake schema okay which one is more effective uh, star schema because it involves lesser joints it is not complicated the structure is pretty much simple to understand as well okay. so mostly star schema is preferred okay what is the query folding in power bi uh, though i haven't used query folding but i know about it query mm. folding what happens here is uh, i'll give you an example directly if your data is connected with sql server mm. every time you are loading data you mm. want some filter in your power bi mm. what happen what will happen is your data will be loaded entirely but with query folding what happens is you give one single query to the source itself and source filters the data for you so the time is saved the data is saved okay this is query folding difference between sum and sumx uh both are used for additions okay what happens with sum is it adds up all the values from single column okay but what happens with sumx is it firstly evaluates an expression hmm. then adds all the values okay. it goes in a row context row by row row by row uh, if i have to give an example as well i'll give <laughs> it uh if i have a revenue column okay directly if i'm summing it uh, directly if i want to add all the values i'll use sum okay. but if i don't have a revenue column hmm. and i have a quantity sold and unit price hmm. what i'll do is i'll use sumx in its uh, syntax firstly i need to use table then i'll give an expression quantity multiplied by unit sold then it will multiply the values and add it up so okay. that you will have a revenue okay difference between count and count x uh count calculates all the non blank values non blank value okay uh, and what happens with count x is uh, whenever there is x in any function no it will uh, go with an expression okay uh, the expression is evaluated first and then all the values will be calculated okay if i want to calculate only blank value in a column then there is this uh, function i guess is blank is blank <laughs> that we can use in daxs hmm. okay <coughs> what are the major use by implementing rls uh, so rls is a ro uh, like role level security it's okay. in the name itself it restricts data per user okay so i'll give i'll give you the same example here Okay. If I have uh, different types of revenue data for different regions, okay. and I want to restrict data for the regional managers to see their data for their region itself, okay. I'll directly use RLS so that if I have uh, regions like India, Malaysia, Indonesia, hmm. the India region manager will only see the data that is restricted for India itself. It he will not be able to see the data from Malaysia or Indonesia. For these purposes, we use RLS. Okay. difference between deal through and deal down uh, what happens here is drill down goes through a hierarchy okay uh, you have one table hmm. uh, for uh, you have upper level view for example india hmm. if you drill down it will show its states if you okay. again drill down it will show data for its cities this is how drill down happens if you come back it will be drill up okay but uh, what happens with drill through is uh if you like if you have an map of india okay if you apply drill through over it hmm. uh, if you click on india it will show data entire data about india on a different page okay that will be your drill through okay so yeah this is major difference hmm what is the ct in square ct is just a common table expression uh this is used for reusability of a code reusability of uh, the code if i have to tell you an example if i have a larger hmm. query hmm. and i need to use it again and again hmm. for some of my reasons okay. what i'll do is i'll just create a ct hmm. with structure will be syntax will be with ct name as then i'll put all the entire query in the bracket and if i want to use this code again i'll just and name my ct is name itself and i don't have to use entire query okay what is the gateway and how does it works 
so gateways in power bi is are used for connecting data with your power bi service and our uh, on premises data hmm. so this is the main reason why we use gateway uh, for the usage of sh- scheduled uh, uh, scheduled refresh hmm. or when you when you want to use live access to the data hmm. you use gateways there okay. are two different mode personal and business mode okay so this is all about gateway <laughs> okay <coughs> difference between slicer and uh, filters uh with slicers and filters slicer are uh, mostly used for interact uh, mostly used as a interactive element okay when you want to interact with the data that is shown on your visuals you use slicer okay but what happens with filter is filter is mostly on the back side of the data okay it deals with complete data structure okay it will not be seen up front but uh, fil- what like if i have to if i apply any filter it the filter will be directly to, to the data and okay. whatever the data will be as output only that you will see on your screen so okay. this is main difference type of filters uh visual level filter page level filter and report level filter these three filters uh, like these three are the types of filters okay which visuals use uh, from these scatter plot histogram waterfall and pareto chart from these i have used uh, two of them hmm. uh, scatter plot yes definitely i have used hmm. and a waterfall as well okay. yeah, like you use <laughs> scatter plot when you want to show correlation between two different points okay. in a chart and with waterfall like it, it's been quite a long time i have used waterfall but yes it is used when you want to show you know uh, data if the data is going in profit or loss it's kind of a column chart only okay. but in column chart you cannot go to a negative values no so we use waterfall it shows profit as well as loss so that is okay. the reason why we use waterfall chart what is the between and operator in sql is so it can you come again uh, what is the use of between and operator in sql so between and we use if we want a data from two different data points okay that's the reason why we use between is it work on range or yes it is for ranges only can we use between and in a date column yes sir we can use in number column ha uh, definitely we can use and can we use with the name column no, i'm not sure about this sir. okay what is the in operator in sql uh, we use in in sql when we want multiple values of uh, multiple values to be shown oh okay. similar multiple values okay <laughs> what is the group by in sql a group by is definitely used for aggregations okay uh, for example if i have uh, salaries of different employees from different companies okay and i want to calculate average salary of a single company okay. then i'll aggregate the entire data on the basis of company itself so my query here will be select average of salary comma company uh, from table name i'll group by company so this will give me an output average salaries for <laughs> every single company can we put joins in a group by yes sir we can use joins in group by with a group by okay <coughs> is it update come under ddl or dml update comes under dml okay what about alter alter comes in ddl okay <coughs> what okay. is this uh, when we we are directly you are like directly playing with the data itself mm. then it will always come as a dml okay when our more work is with the structure of data it will go through the ddl command okay fine what is the self join in sql self join in sql is when you want the data from your table itself you will use a self join if i have uh, i'll give an example here as well if i have table of employees from my company and i want to see uh, who are the employees that are managers as well okay so these are some instances where i'll use self joins okay okay sure so overall everything is okay mm-hmm. thank you sir okay okay your confidence is good okay thank, thank you sir. thank you for your time thank you sir thanks for this okay. opportunity as well yes